Hi all, in this video, I'm going to give the answers of the interview questions that I've discussed in the previous shot. So the question number one was, what is the use of let variables in LWC? So whenever you have to declare a variable on the block level, that's where we use the let variables in LWC. For an example, let's say I have a function. <coughs> this is my function. Now inside this function, I have a particular block of the code that if something is true, okay. I'm going to execute this part of the code else I'm going to execute this part of the code right now inside this if else if this part in this particular block of the code if I have to create a variable to assign a value in that case is we can create a let name equals to assign the name for example test we can assign the name for it so basically if you have to create a block level variable inside this block if you need a variable in that case is we use let variables in LWC let's move on to the next question what is the shadow boundary in LWC? So for that purpose, I need to take you to this diagram. This is our original DOM and inside this DOM, we have a shadow DOM as well. Now this shadow DOM is basically used for encapsulation. Okay. Basically what it does is it encapsulates our original DOMs so that it is not getting altered because of HTML, CSS or other things. So that's what the shadow DOM is used for. But <clears throat> as we can see, there is a separate line, right? As you can see, there is a line in between the main DOM and the shadow DOM and this particular DOM, this particular line is called as shadow boundary in LWC. Let's move on to the next question. What is the max character that can be used in URL mapping? So now whenever you are going to expose rest resources, okay, whenever you are going to expose any of our Apex class to the external system using rest API, <clears throat> what you do is you provide the URL mapping, whatever it might be. So inside this URL mapping, it's not possible that you can give any length of the characters. Okay. There is certain limit to which that you can specify the character to that is 255. Okay. Only 255 characters that can be included inside your URL mapping. You cannot include more than that. Only 255 character is the maximum amount of characters that can be specified inside the URL mapping. So this was all about the interview questions that I've discussed in the previous shot. If you found this video helpful, I request you to please like this video and subscribe to my channel.